the best college degrees and college majors for a high paying job right out of college. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we get into that, make sure to gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, careers, degrees, opportunities that will lead you to success, and we also cover some of the common traps that so many people fall for. If that sounds like something that interests you and you haven't done it already, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below in order for the YouTube algorithm to recognize that you like this channel and show you my videos. So with that out of the way, let's jump right in. The first one on the list is going to be a degree that will skyrocket you to success. Number 10 on the list is going to be information and computer science. So this is basically a combination of computer science and information science. So you're going to get a lot of the coding and the software development that you'd get from computer science. And you're also going to combine that with some of the statistics and mathematics that you would get when you study more of a data science or information science sort of career and degree. So it treats computers more as a tool rather than a field. Now information computer science is called informatics in Europe. So if you're watching this in other parts of the world, it might have a different name. Now with this degree, you're gonna start off in your first five years making nearly $75,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be 117,000. Now computer science is the study of how computers inherently work. But let's say you want to organize a bunch of random numbers, a bunch of random data that a company just got from people who bought their products. What would be the best way to sort that data? what would be the fastest way and why would it be the best and the fastest way. A lot of the time this will require writing code but only to verify the idea itself. Information science is a little bit different. Let's say same scenario, you get a giant set of data. So computer information systems would help you sort the data and figure out how it relates to each other and help you make sense of it. This would help you make real life decisions based on that data that could potentially help a company. So the focus with the computer science is the computers themselves, whereas the focus with information science is the data. Now viewers of this channel know how good computer science is. In my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best degrees out there. This is a really good combination just because of the fact that it also integrates data in there. So you're going to have a little bit more statistical and mathematical knowledge. Number nine on the list is going to be chemical engineering and material science and engineering. Now a lot of the engineering problems that you see popping up currently are going to be solved by people who have not only a chemical engineering background, but also a material science background. With this degree, you're gonna make somewhere around $76,000 a year right off the bat, and mid-career pay is gonna be 127,000. Those are some really nice numbers for somebody who just graduated from college with little to no experience. Now, I've said this before, but one of the industries that has a lot of opportunity is going to be the natural gas industry, and you see this on every single level. So whether you're going into the industry with no degree at all, like this guy who makes six figures a year, you don't need technical school. You don't need to go to welding classes or you don't have to do all that crap, man. You don't have to spend any money. You show up on a job with a pair of steel toe boots from fucking Walmart and that's all you need. Or if you're going into the industry with an associate's level degree or a bachelor's or even a master's or a doctorate. At every level, there's tons of opportunity within the natural gas industry. So I'm not surprised to see this one on here. The one downside to this industry is you're likely gonna have to move somewhere and that might not be the best place to live. Now, it doesn't mean that the natural gas industry is your only option. You could also work in the mining industry. There's a ton of other options out there for you. This isn't the type of career that you can find in just any town across America, but if you're willing to move somewhere in order to get your foot in the door, there's a lot of opportunity out there. Great success. Number eight on the list actually surprised me a lot, and that one was welding engineering. So when I first saw this one, I was really confused, to be honest with you. So basically, these are the people who design different welding materials and welding tools. Now, you'd think that that might be a specialty where they've kind of uh, saturated, they've reached a saturation point in terms of how good welding technology can get. However, what I discovered is there's a lot of processes within factories, for instance, that require specialized welding equipment. So for instance, just an example would be there might be a machine that welds something in the creation process of a car. And if you're able to do that in such a way where there's a lot of quality control, aka there's not that many mistakes that are made, 
and you can do it a lot faster, you can end up creating maybe an extra five or 10 cars a day, which is going to help the company. Making the manufacturing process of creating cars as simple and streamlined as possible is something that really makes a huge difference in the bottom line of companies. This is why you see Elon Musk, for instance, is absolutely obsessed with making his gigafactories as efficient as possible. Now, with this degree, you're gonna start off making around $76,000 a year, and mid-career pay is going to be 118,000. This one isn't to be confused with welding engineering technology. That one definitely isn't anywhere near as good as this one, although it's not bad either. That's an example of one of those degrees where they slap technology at the end of it, and it's not a real engineering degree. It's an engineering technology degree, which is not the same thing. So yeah, this is a really good one. It's another one that makes a lot of sense because it's so practical. Number seven on the list is going to be another one that is in the natural gas industry and that's going to be petroleum land management. Now, unlike a lot of the engineering related degrees, this one has more to do with the business side of the natural gas industry. So this is one where you're gonna be focused on different laws when it comes to the natural gas industry, rights, you're gonna be calculating different types of interest, you're gonna be going over the different rules and regulations for how to transfer titles, and just how to run a natural gas business in general. With this one, you're gonna start off making $76,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be 112,000. So this is an interesting one because it's almost like the business side of the natural gas industry. And like I said before, there's a ton of opportunity in this industry Industry. A lot of people say that within our lifetime, this industry is going to be going downhill. I actually tend to disagree with that. And I could probably make an entire video about that. But realistically speaking, I don't think this industry is going to be out within our lifetime. For better or worse, there is a ton of money in this industry. Some might say that it is a huge opportunity. Number six on the list is going to be nuclear engineering technology. Another big player in the energy war that is currently happening right now, nuclear engineering, nuclear energy in general, is something that is very interesting and there's quite a bit of money in it. This is another one where there's a lot of money at every single level, kind of like the natural gas industry. With this degree, you're gonna make $76,000 a year, almost 77,000 right out of college, and mid-career pay is $100,000 a year. Now, I left nuclear engineering off of my tier list video for engineering degrees and I got roasted hard for it in the comments. If I ever do a follow-up video, which has been highly requested, so I probably will, rest assured I will not leave nuclear engineering out. This is a really promising degree and subject in general. It seems like there's just a lot of opportunity in the energy industry. You can get jobs at pretty much any level. For instance, with a high school diploma, you can make $85,000 a year as a power plant operator. So I see a lot of potential in this one in the future and it's obviously really good right now. Number five on the list is going to be a combination of computer science and physics. This one is a killer combination because they complement each other so well. This is almost like yin and yang. That's how well they complement each other. Computer science will probably teach you software development, computer programming skills, which are extremely hot right now. However, a lot of people who go into computer science lack a lot of the analytical and mathematical ability that you would get in spades if you get a physics degree. Now, physics is one of the hardest majors out there. Computer science isn't easy either. So the combination of these two is going to be nasty. You gotta be really smart in order to to get this degree. So the combination of the problem solving and practical skills when it comes to math that you get with physics, and then also having the software development skills that you get with a computer science degree is just really, really good. Tech companies love hiring people who graduate with physics degrees as computer programmers, software developers, because of the fact that they have a unique problem solving skill set. With this one, you're gonna make around $77,000 a year starting out and $113,000 a year in mid-career pay. Great combination here, not surprised at all that it made it onto the list. Next one on the list is going to be a business slash math related degree, which is operations research. So operations research, is going to have skills when it comes to data science or information science. They're also going to have skills when it comes to statistics and math. And on top of that, they're going to be able to use those skills 
in a business setting. This is going to help businesses operate in a cost efficient and cost effective manner. This one's not going to be as geared as something like data science towards, you know, sales and marketing. Generally speaking, data science is going to be all about sales and marketing. It has more to do with information that's within a business in order to make it more cost effective and more efficient. This is another really hot degree. It's one that can really help a business grow. Definitely not surprised to see this one on the list. Very valuable to a company. Number three on the list is going to be metallurgical engineering. Another engineering related degree. You see these on the list all the time. This one is going to transform minerals and metals into high performance alloys. And these new materials are going to be used to create space shuttles, cars, surgical implants, all kinds of different things like that. Now with this degree, you're going to start off making around $78,000 a year and mid-career pay is going to be $115,000. So you can see why this one would be so valuable. If you think about it, computer chips, for instance, they have silicon in it and they've just been getting more and more efficient every single year. I think every single year they basically double in efficiency. And one of the main reasons for that is because of metallurgical engineers. I could really get into this one, but you know, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it really simple. But there's a lot of really cool, really exciting stuff going on in this industry. You've got quantum computing, semiconductors. Quantum computing could totally change the game for so many different industries. It's really exciting. If you haven't checked out quantum computing, you should definitely watch a video on that. Number two on the list is going to be a killer combination, which is electrical engineering and computer science. So computer science is all about the principles and uses of computers with a focus on the coding side of things. So a focus on software development and software engineering. Computer science does go over the hardware side of things, but not in depth. Electrical engineering, on the other hand, does go in depth on the hardware side of things. This is gonna go all over the study, design, and application of different types of equipment when it comes to electrical systems. Now with this degree, you can expect to make $88,000 a year right off the bat, and mid-career pay is $142,000 a year. This is a killer combination because you're basically getting that software knowledge and that hardware knowledge. Not that many people are experts when it comes to both. Number one on the list is going to be petroleum engineering. No surprise here another one from the natural gas industry. With this one, you're gonna start off making around $94,000 a year right off the bat. Mid-career pay is 176,000. Now again, I'll mention this as another one where you might have to move somewhere that you wouldn't necessarily want to live. An oil plant in the middle of nowhere, maybe an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, or you might have to move to another country where there's a lot of oil. However, if you're willing to do that, there's a ton of opportunity. You pretty much go in right away making almost six figures a year, which is insane for a four-year bachelor level degree. If you haven't done it already, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And before you leave, make sure to check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.